Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain about the calomel electrode. In my previous video, I have already explained about the standard hydrogen electrode. Standard hydrogen electrode and calomel electrode are the reference electrode that are used to measure the electrode potential of other electrodes. Or simply you can say that calomel electrode is the alternate of standard hydrogen electrode. So in this video, we are going to understand everything about calomel electrode. So let's start. We know that there are many drawbacks of standard hydrogen electrode. It is not portable, the concentration of hydrochloric acid should be maintained at 1 M and similarly the pressure of hydrogen gas should be maintained at 1 atm. All those things are very difficult. That's why we can't use standard hydrogen electrode frequently and in alternate of that we need to use such electrode which do not have much limitations and the option is calomel electrode. There are not much drawbacks of calomel electrode that's why we use calomel electrodes in modern days for many purpose. First of all let's see the construction and working of calomel electrode. The calomel electrode consists of a long glass tube like this and it has two side tubes the two side tubes are like this this is the first type side tube and this is the second side tube okay this is a this is b and this is c the main glass tube is named as a the first side tube is named as b and the third side tube is been named as c the bottom of the glass tube A is filled with highly pure mercury. On top of that, there is a layer of mercury and mercurious chloride paste like this. And the remaining part of the tube is filled with saturated solution of potassium chloride and calomel or mercurious chloride like this. And this tube B, B has a platinum wire in it. Now let's level it. It will be clearer after that. This chemical is a highly pure mercury. This is highly pure mercury that is kept at the bottom of the glass tube A. On top of that there is paste of mercury and mercurious chloride as G2Cl2 and this is saturated solution of potassium chloride and mercurious chloride like this okay and this is platinum wire platinum wire so this is the complete diagram of calomel electrode calomel electrode let me explain one more time a calomel electrode consists of a long glass tube a it has two side tubes b and c the bottom of the tube a is filled with highly pure mercury liquid on top of that there is a layer of paste of mercury and mercurious chloride this mercurious chloride is itself called calomel okay it is the calomel and on top of that again there is saturated solution of potassium chloride and mercurious chloride over there that is potassium chloride plus calomel is kept on top of that this fills the remaining part of the tube a as well as the remaining part of the tube c okay now here there is platinum wire over here this platinum wire is used to is used for electrical electrical communication communication in the external circuit okay in external circuit as we are talking about a cell that means if it talks about a node then it must have a cathode sorry a node cathode as well and they have to be connected by an external circuit external wire and platinum wire is used for that this C is used for connecting connecting 
other electrode connecting other electrode or simply you can say this acts as salt bridge right this acts as salt bridge because we know that one beaker and another beaker is connected by a salt bridge apart from the external circuit so this is the complete diagram of calomel electrode now let me write whatever we have studied over here so the calomel electrode consists consists of a long glass tube a with with two side tubes b and c so b and c are two side tubes the bottom of a that is tube a is filled with highly pure mercury and a paste of mercury and mercurious chloride is kept over it and a saturated solution of potassium chloride and mercurious chloride is introduced introduced on top of it top of it to fill the remaining part of a and c so this is the theoretical portion for the explanation of calomel electrode here there is this potassium chloride and mercurious chloride is on top a that fills the tube a as well as c the tube b consists consists of a platinum wire platinum wire that that helps for electrical electrical communication communication with other electrode with other electrode the tube c acts as a salt bridge so here the tube c acts as a salt bridge i hope you understood the construction of the calomel electrode now let's see the theory and the working of calomel electrode there are two possibilities the calomel electrode will either act as anode or act as cathode so let's see for each of them what type of reaction occurs so when the calomel electrode acts as anode anode means negative terminal and at anode oxidation reaction happens over there right so the reaction occurring at anode is called oxidation half in case of a galvanic or voltaic cell right so in this case in oxidation reaction what will happen the mercury the mercury will lose electron and it will form as g22 plus plus two electron minus so to balance we have to put two over here there are two positive sign two negative sign so obviously the charge is also balanced but this mercurious ion g22 plus this is the mercurious ion that will further react with the chloride ion actually two chloride ion that is furnished by the potassium chloride potassium chloride will give this chloride ion and that chloride ion will react with this mercurious ion to form the calomel as g2 cl2 and this is in aqueous form this is in aqueous form but this is in solid similarly here this is liquid this is aqueous and for the overall reaction we just have to add them right if we add them this Rg2 plus Hg2 plus are in on opposite side so they will get cancelled out so it will be 2 Hg liquid plus 2 chloride minus in aqueous form will give what Hg2 Cl2 at solid plus 2 electrode 
minus. So as you can see over here, there is the loss of electron. Electron is in the right side. So obviously this is the oxidation reaction. So this is this reaction occurs at the oxidation half. Let me write over here what is happening. The mercury loses loses two electrons electrons and the ions and the ions that is Sg22 plus passes passes into the solution passes into the solution where where it combines combines with chloride ion that is furnished furnished by potassium chloride and forms forms mercurious chloride that is calomel this reaction will happen at anode first of all the mercury that is the pure mercury highly pure mercury will lose two electrons and it will form mercurious chloride ion and that will pass to the solution where it combines with the chloride ion that chloride ion is furnished or given out by potassium chloride and finally this mercurious ion and chloride ion forms calomel that is mercurious chloride and the reaction you can see is over here that's the two step reaction and finally we get this then the cell notation the cell notation for this oxidation half reaction will be like this you can see over here this mercury liquid is changing to mercurious chloride that is Ag2Cl2 this is in solid form and for that it needs potassium chloride as well this is aqueous so this is the cell notation for the oxidation half reaction that is when the calomel electrode acts at the node similarly another possibility is what if the calomel electrode acts as cathode then obviously some different type of chemical reaction would be followed let's see that the second possibility is the electrode will act as cathode a cathode which reaction happens reduction reaction right reduction means gain of electrons so in this case the mercurious ion sorry mercurious chloride that is the calomel in solid form it will break to give mercurious ion plus chloride ion okay actually two chloride ions now this mercurious ions will gain two electrons and it will finally form two mercury metal so this is the complete cell re sorry this is the cell reaction that occurs at cathode now the overall cell reaction can be obtained by just adding them then Ag2 plus Ag2 plus will get cancelled out. The remaining portion is Ag2Cl2 at solid. It will gain two electrons, right? And in the right side, there is two Ag in liquid form plus two chloride minus ions. So this is the overall cell reaction for reduction half. Let me write what is happening over there. The calomel, the calomel or simply Ag2Cl2 breaks breaks and gives gives Ag2 2 plus and chloride minus ions the Ag2 2 plus ion gains gains two electrons two electrons and forms forms mercury metal so this is the language portion here you can see mercurious chloride is breaking in to give mercurious ion and chloride ion this mercurious ion is gaining two electron gaining means reduction right gaining two electrons in order to form two mercury metal and this mercurious chloride when adds uh, when gets two electrons it will definitely form two mercury metal and two chloride ion this is the complete cell reaction now for cell notation we have to be very much careful while writing the cell notation of any cell right for cell notation what do we see over here there is mercurious chloride so it will need first of all kcl in aqueous form right and here this mercurious chloride ag2cl2 
at in solid form this gives what mercury metal in liquid form so this is the cell notation for the reduction half of the calomel electrode now we can see one thing here this is a reversible reaction sign right that means the cell the cell that is calomel okay calomel is reversible reversible with chloride ion chloride ion that means the emf of the cell directly depends on the concentration of chloride ion if the concentration of chloride ion changes then the emf of the cell will obviously change so there are some standard concentration of chloride ion and corresponding value of emf of the cell let me write it over here so i have already written some popular concentration of potassium chloride solution and corresponding value of electrode potential of calomel electrode as you can see over here if we if we keep the concentration of potassium chloride to be 0.1 m then the corresponding value of electrode potential will be 0.3338 volt similarly for 1 m concentration of potassium chloride solution the electrode potential will be 0.2800 volt and similarly for saturated potassium chloride solution the electrode what will be plus 0.2415 volt so these are some values of concentration as well as the electrode potential of the calomel electrode now just imagine we have these values where did we get these values from we are talking about considering calomel electrode as the reference electrode but how did we get this value so the value of electrode potential of calomel electrode is obtained by using another reference electrode that is standard hydrogen electrode so let me write it over here these values these values are obtained obtained by coupling coupling it with standard hydrogen electrode as we know that a single electrode will not conduct any electricity so it will not have any electrode potential it must be coupled with some other electrode that's that's how it can generate some value of electrode potential so to get the value of electrode potential of calomel electrode for different concentration we have to couple it with the standard hydrogen electrode so just imagine first of all we consider the electrode potential of standard hydrogen electrode to be 0 volt this is the arbitrary value i have already made a video about standard hydrogen electrode you can check the link in the description below by using this we calculate the value of the ele electrode potential of calomel electrode calomel electrode and finally by using calomel electrode we find the value of electrode potential of some other electrodes other electrodes so here this is the first electrode first reference electrode right so this is called the primary electrode primary electrode that standard hydrogen electrode is the primary electrode and this is the secondary electrode secondary electrode electrode nowadays we prefer calomel electrode for calculation of the electrode potential of other electrode because standard hydrogen electrode has many limitations and it has very less limitation in simply you can say that this is very small in size we can also carry it in pocket that's the best thing right this is portable as well nowadays we are using some alternate electrodes even for the calomel electrodes because there are some limitations of calomel electrode as well as mercury metal is used over there then obviously it is hazardous okay mercury can be hazardous calomel mercury they are little bit hazardous for us that's why we don't uh, we are using we are trying to find out some alternate electrodes as well so in this video we understood what calomel electrode actually is the construction working the reaction of calomel electrode and why it is preferred over standard hydrogen electrode that's all in this video i hope you understood everything about this video if you like the video please share this video as much as you can and thank you for watching the video